What's up everyone, this is Sol with another video and today we're going to do another blog read. A link to it is in the description below. And we're gonna see something a little bit interesting here. Under development, WoW Remix, Mists of Pandaria. Let's go. Relive epic adventures with an all new event arriving in the 1027 content update, WoW Remix, Mists of Pandaria and not Pandemonium. Experience the wonders of Pandaria anew, but with a fresh new loot. Loot or look? <laughs> and almost unlimited power. Okay. What is WoW Remix, Mr. Pandaria? World of Warcraft Remix is a time-limited event <gasps> which allows players to re-experience the entirety of the Mr. Pandaria expansion at an accelerated rate from level 10 through 70. All loot has been completely overhauled and has powerful new effects, allowing players to shape their experience, power up, and power on. Fe <laughs> huh? Features include <laughs> accelerated leveling and content allowing you to take on nearly every quest, scenario, dungeon, scenario, dungeon, and raid. Create a new WoW Remix character starting at level 10 to adventure through the event up to level 70. A mountain of loot to get powerful items from everywhere. Quests, chests, creatures, and bosses. Customizable items allowing you to power up as far as you can go to take on tougher content. Convert unwanted items into bronze, which can be used to upgrade items and purchase cosmetics. Keep what you collect. Take your collection of transbogs with you into the war within. It's available to everyone. No expansion purchase is needed, but a World of Warcraft sub for game time is required to begin this fast-paced adventure through Pandaria. This means that classic players can also participate in the plethora of Pandemonium <laughs> by simply installing the modern uh, client. While trial accounts will also be able to experience the WoW Remix without a subscription or game time through level 20. Accelerated leveling and contact. With WoW Remix plus the Pandaria, there will be no slowing you down, and you'll be able to take on nearly every quest in every dungeon and raid, Right out the gate with accelerated leveling, view the chart below for the availability of each type of content. So 10 through 70. Oh, so, uh, oh, so, so it scales. And we start off with Jade Forest, and then you have the scenarios, you have the dungeons and raids, and then you get a lot of dungeons. One, two, three, four. So it grows. And then you play through the patch content. And then more of it. <laughs> Wait. One zone, another zone, plus the plus the patch content, then another zone. And then by the time we're at level 35, we can play at wait, by the time I'm level 25, I can go into Mogashan Vaults. And then by the time I'm 35, I can go into Heart of Fear. And then Terrace, and then it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. So Veil of Eternal Blossoms at 40, at 50, I'm playing through patch content, including that, that, and Heroic Raids. <clears throat> I gotta read through the rest of this. What? I'm like, what? Creating your new identity. Create a, a new modern WoW character to undertake your adventures in Pandaria. Collect a variety of powerful new items and transmog, then take your transmog with you when you continue your adventures in The War Within. Additional character slots will be available so that you have room for your new fully leveled and fully geared hero to join you in your continuing adventures through the World Soul Saga. So we get more slots. And then we can take this character into World Soul Saga. All remix characters created during the event will convert to a standard character to play with in Modern WoW. From the character select screen, players will be, will be given the option to create a new WoW Remix character beginning at level 10, which will only be able to play with characters taking part in the event. Characters in the selection screen, which are only available to play in the Remix event, will have an icon next to the character so they can easily be identified. Once you've created your character, you'll begin your new journey in the Timeless Isle and meet up with uh, the infinite dragonfly and the Eternus who will set you on your path. So we're taking the side of the of the infinites. Got it. In the remix, players have the opportunity to collect a variety of, item, uh, of items from just about anywhere. Quest, chest, creatures, bosses, and more. New, custom, new customizable items will be yours for the taking, and each item slot has their own unique identity with spell gem sockets. 
These sockets come with exciting turbocharged new effects similar to trinkets. Every thing is a trinket? Each time you loot new items, you'll have a chance for powerful new upgrades, allowing you to push the limits further and faster than ever before with uncapped progression. As you progress, you'll gradually become more and more powerful as items also grant increased permanent stats. <laughs> what is this, dude? Here's some examples. Okay. Livestorm. Summon a storm. Call down five bolts of lightning every one second. Each bolt, each bolt inflicts nature damage to an enemy within 30 yards. During the storm, just crazy stuff happens. Fits in a meta socket. Thundering orb, transform into an orb, inflicting nature damage to. <clears throat> so what, it's like it's like Dynasty Warriors or something like that. Oblivion Sphere, a colossal orb of pure void that increases crit strike damage taken by enemies within 15 yards. After four seconds, it explodes. Okay, so these are meta gems, and then there's primordial gems. We'll, 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 we'll kind of skim through this. Every three seconds, you can build up a charge of Hailstorm. Upon reaching 10 stacks, you'll unleash a hail on enemies within 50 yards. <laughs> Your abilities have a chance to grant all allies a shield absorbing damage and applying numbing gold to all enemies within 50 yards, which is a defensive sort of thing. Wildfire. Your abilities have a chance to inflict additional fire damage and spread wildfire to a nearby enemy. Uh, and it spreads Tinker Gems, Tink Master's Shield. So this is, this is, yeah, these are all, so Primordial, and then Meta, and then Tinker Gems. While you're above 80% health, your attacks consume, your attacks consume 2% of your maximum health to inflict damage. This is wild. <laughs> this is so wild. Sun started to flourish. Uh, your crit strikes erupt in a fiery explosion, inflicting damp fire. What the hell is this? Cogwheel gems teleports you. Roll. You can roll. Everyone can roll. <laughs> cloak of infinite potential. You'll also you'll also be able to earn an artifact cloak that gains permanent power increases as you play. Power power you earn on your strongest character is shared with alternate characters created for the event to make leveling even faster. What What the hell is this? This is wild. And there's a mount. Ooh, that's a crazy bird. Earn titles, a variety of transmogs, previously unreleased color variants of older mounts, and more simply, uh, by completing WoW Remix, Mr. Pandaria's specific, specific achievements during the event. These achievements will become feats of strength when the event ends. Ooh, gold space dragon. Welcome to a Bronze Age. There's no such thing as a bad drop, and any drop you can get can be converted into a new currency, Bronze. You'll be able to use this currency to purchase upgrades and WoW account-bound cosmetics. Head to a bazaar in any zone to purchase everything from transmogs to mop mounts, toys, and more. This allows players to purchase items that were previously unable to obtain or difficult to obtain as random drops by simply spending this new currency to add them to their account's collection. Players won't be able to use the auction house in in Remix. And it's in 10 7 So this is... <clears throat> damn. Okay, I don't know what... Oh, oh, so that's a, that's a backpack with a chicken on a... Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. This is... This is a lot more intense than I had ever imagined. So this is going to be some Dynasty Warriors level, just go nasty, break everything kind of PvE stuff. And again, a time limited event. Um, and yeah, I, I don't have strong reactions yet. I'm still kind of, whoa. Uh, th there's a lot going on. I mean, the first thing that I'm I'm, I'm wondering to myself, you know how Plunderstorm, that, th there's kind of a reason behind that being a, um, uh, being a time-limited event because the whole point is to get lots of participation, a lot of people going in, so that way your queue times are good and all that stuff. Uh, this, not so much. This feels like there's a strong incentive to be like, hey, definitely 
you could definitely do everything on your own because it looks like you're just going to just blow everything up. And as for raids, uh, that's going to be interesting too. I wonder how that's going to work out. Uh, how's grouping going to work out? Um, you know, it said like there's going to be heroic raids because for the most part, it was just heroic raids that were uh, that were kind of a thing. So if we go back to um, yeah, this here, once we get to level 70, we can do heroic raids um, of each of the things. And there was only like maybe Mythic Siege or something like that. Um, interesting stuff. Really interesting stuff. And all of it scales. So even if you're like level 70, you can do any of these, uh, you can do any of these raids for whatever the hell it is that you get. And it feels like you just keep getting random stuff as you're, you know, opening chests, doing quests, getting rewards and stuff like that. And it's, you're just going nuts. That's wild. So this is going to come in 1027, which I'm guessing is going to come towards the end of May. If we look at like the Dragonflight schedule as it's been, that's kind of the expected thing. So that could be fun. And this is, this is one of those things that I feel is like, hey, it's something to, to sub for. It's something to come back for. Season four, yeah, we know what's going on with that. You know, st stuff for big three players to do. This is something This is something different. This is cool. I'm looking forward to this one. But let me know what you guys think in a comment below. And I'll see you next time. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy.